All right, hello again, everyone. This is Socks, and today I'm going to do something which a few people are asking me for, but I thought it might be do better to do it in a little different format because a lot of people have been asking me for a Crystal Tech Guide. As you can see online, there are a lot of Crystal Tech Guides, and they just sort of show you what to do, and I thought that's not very helpful, mainly because a lot of people don't exactly know how they should be doing like a day-by-day -day basis. So what I wanted to do is instead create a day-by-day -day sort of Crystal Tech order or guide for players mainly free to play because i am free to play myself and as you can see i'm still working on this as a work in progress so i'm currently at day 11 so i'll keep adding on to this and the vi this link to link to this will be in the video description but i wanted to show a day by day sort of crystal tech progression guide and as you can see i have my tech i also have how much crystal i spent on the first day i also have my bastion levels and I also have my crystal mind speed. So I think overall, the way I'd like to do this is more helpful than a guide, which just sort of shows you how you should be doing it. This can help you sort of compare how you're doing compared to me personally as a free to play. And obviously I will be much farther behind than other people who maybe bought Bounce and Warfare, bought the pop-ups, bought the crystal quest or bought the <laughs> conqueror's will, or even bought the uh, what is it? The crystal mine supply, the crystal mine speed. So there's a lot of things you can buy to obviously get you further ahead of me. But as you know, I am a pure free to play. That means no, nothing was ever bought for me and I will never buy anything probably. But yeah, without further ado, I'm going to show you how I've been doing my tech for the past about one and a half week weeks. Sorry. So how did I start? I got some free crystal. I got it from the crystal chest right here. You can see them here. So these are obtained by going to the Crusader Achievements. They're the Crystal Tycoon um, chest you get here. And you get these by just spending crystal every sock KVK. And the total amount I usually get is around 80 mil by the end of KVK. So I get all these crystal chests up to 80 mil will add up to 33 crystal chests or 3.3 million crystal. And I also get 830k from the crystal chest 1 and 2 during the training phase of pre-KVK. So that adds up to, when I poured in, 4.1 million crystal. So obviously not a lot, but like I said, this is a how I do my tech or how I get crystal as a pure free-to-play, meaning nothing is, nothing is bought except what I can get. So the first level of Kalkarok also gives 757k crystal, you can see it here. This usually unlocks very shortly after Lost Kingdom opens because a lot of kingdoms in Lost Kingdom try to rush this as fast as possible. So it unlocks shortly after Lost Kingdom opens, as I said. So the total amount of free crystal, which I earned on day one, was approximately 4.9 million crystal. So obviously not a lot. I know some people that buy pop-ups will probably at this point have like closer to 20 million, which is insane, but that's just the nature of the game. So let's talk about my tech. So the order I generally go in, and the order for basically all players, is to rush crystal mine to 25. This is... 101 i'd say the what everyone should do rush the crystal mine to 25 the research center i would say you upgrade it as you go but if you enter with around the same amount of crystal as me i would say do it to 16 which is I, what i usually do every kvk and that then i move on to my tech okay so i go into my tech after doing these two i just go straight to my tech i go to t1 tech first i just do that all to one then I go to my skillful operation one, which is the highest priority for me. And I get that to five out of five. And then these two are like the prerequisites, which I forget exactly when it unlocks, but you have to do these two as well to get this maxed. And then my second highest priority, which is the eco tech or economy tech of treaties one and culture exchange one to four out of five, then it stops you there. So then I go to treaties two and cultural exchange two. You can only do this if you have the research center to 16. But obviously, all players might not be in the same spot. I would just say try to get your research center probably to around 12 if you can't, if you don't get like 4.9 million crystal. If you have like 3 mil crystal, I'd say just get your research center to like 12 and then try to follow along as best you can. As you can see in my tech, I took these to two because I had leftover crystal for today. Treaties one and culture exchange one to four. Basically nothing else done here except skillful operation one and treaties two and culture exchange two. So as you can see, free to play tech, obviously not a very impressive, but I do focus very hard on eco or economic tech so I can get as much crystal possible every day. 
You can see I level my bastions pretty evenly. You always want to level your bastions evenly. You don't want to like make one five and then have the others one. You can see my mind speed is only nine percent. Not much, obviously, right? But uh, that is that is what it is. I have no season supply. The fifty percent crystal mind speed. Day two, some more or less the same. Just grinding it out on T1 tech, as you can see. Just just working toward T1 tech. The reason I'm working on T1 T1 tech to five out of five is to get my treaties two and culture exchange two to a higher level. So this tech up here, I just go full eco, as I said. I'm working on getting this to a higher level. So it's working on the T1 tech. Bastions are pretty even. My mine is about 16% now. And I've spent around 6 mil crystals so far. Then we move on to day three. Well, I'm still working on my T1 tech. It's, it's a slow grind, right? It's a slow grind. So I'm just working on T1 tech. Bastions are still pretty even. And I'm, my mine speed is about 22. It's went up a little bit. And I have about, a, about one more, one mil more crystal. Day four, I finally finished my T1 War Tech, as you can see. Five out of five. And I work on pushing my Eco Tech further. So I push Treaties 2 and Culture Exchange 2 to 4 to 10. Now my next priority is to push my Research Center to 20. So I can upgrade Treaties 2 and Culture Exchange 2 further. That basically means I'm just going to go straight to 4 to 10, 4 to 10. And I push my Research Center up to 20 so I can unlock higher levels of Treaty 2 and Culture Exchange 2. That's all I did for that day. As you can see, Bastion is going up. Bastion speed, um, Bastion boosts are going up as well as because of my Bastions are being leveled. And about 8.2 mil crystal. Day 5. Finally push my Research Center to 20 and Treaties 2 to 5. So this is like the big milestone actually for free to play. If you get your Crystal Research Center to 20, that enables you to bring Treaties 2 up to a maximum of 9 as well as Culture Exchange 2 to a maximum of 9. So once I got this to 20, I basically spent the next like three or four days getting my eco tech as high as possible. As you can see actually in game, this is your end goal when you look at this tech. You want to get your treaties to 9 and culture exchange 2 to 9 because that will give you a lot more extra crystal and a lot more extra favor. In the first zone, it is very important to just go mostly eco. I did that in my last KVK as well. This was against the 24-29 KVK. Believe it or not, I actually took notes of like everything I did that first pass. And as you can see, just went full eco. I did not go further beyond eco because it's very important to get the eco tech leveled as soon as possible. So you get the, the quickest benefit out of the Bastion quests. So as you can see, about 9.5 mil crystal, still leveling Bastions equally. My crystal research center is 20. And we're just going on full eco here. Okay. Day six, I'm just pushing. Treaties 2 and Culture Exchange 2 to 6 out of 10. So we're still going full eco. You can see my mind speed is slowly going up. Bastions are still equal. Research Center is still 20. And I'm about 10.2 mil crystal. Now we're hitting a sort of block road. We cannot level Treaties 2 and Culture Exchange 2 farther. We must come back and work on Treaties 1 to 5 and Culture Exchange 1 to 5. And as a result, after that, we can get our Treaties 2 going again. We see our mind speed. Research Center is still 20. And there's our crystal. Bastion still equal. So on, so forth. And uh, I'll just skip ahead a little bit. All I do is really just work until I get to day 9, where I get my Treaty 2 to 9 and Culture Exchange 2 to 9. This is like the big milestone. Uh, this is also, I think, a little after yeah, pass our first pass opened, but we had no fighting. So I went full Ecotech. Um, it might be better if you just go, you're not able to get to call to arms one by the first pass as free to play. It's very, there's a lot of stuff that stops you. You have to get plunder two to three and Krakow's gift two to, uh, two to three that requires you to come back and max plunder and Krakow's gift and all this other stuff. So to get to call to arms one, it's very difficult. Maybe if you chain like all day, it's possible to unlock this as free to play, but I have never gotten this far, so I'd recommend for basically all players to just focus on Treaties 2 and Culture Exchange 2 if you're free to play to just max those because that is going to give you a lot more benefit than trying to get to War Tech unless you chain pretty much constantly, then it's it's possible to maybe unlock that. So then I start upgrading Research Center to 25 since that's the most important the most important part of the Eco Tech is now done. So that's more or less all I've been doing, and you can see I just keep my progress in check 
And for reference also, this guide is mainly intended for other free-to-plays as well as low spenders, but I do not chain. As you notice, I have a lot of gems. I just gem gather. So this guide may be a little uh, slower than so for some people that maybe chain nonstop. In our kingdom, actually, we have a lot of people that uh, chain or kill barbers. As you can see, I'm not that high compared to some of these uh, crazy grinders, right? Um, but I think this guide is going to be helpful for a lot of people, mainly because a lot of the guides out there, they do not actually tell you where you should be respectively, how your uh, bastion should look, how your uh, how much crystal you should have spent. They don't give you indicators as to where you should be in the sort of grind, right, in every S SOP KVK. So I've been looking over a lot of guides, and I think this will be helpful for people. But if this is something you maybe wanted something more, then let me know in the comments. I said also that I'll be including the link to this in the description of this video. So hopefully this is helpful. I plan to make um, more guides in the future, but I've been focusing a lot just on KVK and real life. So that's my priority right now. I probably will make another video regarding the gem gathering at some point because I gather a lot of gems and I think it'd be good to pass on some of my wisdom to the next uh, generation. But uh, yeah, stay tuned for now. Um, until next time.